How to create a blog post with Elementor. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with creating your own blog post using Elementor. So let's get into it. Now, the first step that we're going to take is to set up our WordPress site. I have set up most of it, but we're just going to enter our email address and then a suitable username. And then we are going to click on install WordPress to actually complete our installation. Now over here, I'm just going to click on log in and I will log into my WordPress site. Now, once we have logged into our WordPress site, you guys will see on the left, you have the option to get started with posts. Now, here is a really quick disclaimer that blog posts on Elementor are primarily created the same way that a post on WordPress is created. Although Elementor does a lot of things in terms of UI customization, in terms of blog post customization, there are some changes that you can make, but if you want to create a new blog post, you pretty much do it in the same way as you would create a regular blog post, simply by going into posts on the left and then click on add new post. Once you do that, you can get started with writing up your new blog post for WordPress, but I'll show you guys the visual customizations and the visual editing capabilities of Elementor. So for that, we're going to click on add a new plugin on the left and we are going to search for Elementor over here. Once we search for Elementor, we are going to click on install now. And once we have installed it, we're just going to click on activate to activate Elementor. Now, after we've done that, we are going to proceed with the hello theme. I'm just going to continue with the hello theme and the different features that we want to use. We can skip that as well. Now from here, you can choose a template or we can edit a blank canvas with the Elementor editor. However, you can skip all of these steps and just directly integrate Elementor to get started. Now, once we have completed this, we can proceed with our first Elementor page, but I'm going to exit over here and I'll just click on apply and we're just gonna leave this as it is and go back into our WordPress dashboard. Now, to get started with creating blog posts, Firstly, if you go into posts on the left, you will see a default post that is created. Click on add new post to start creating your new blog post. So I'll add a title and I just use ChatGPT to write a blog post and I'll just copy that over here like so. And then I will just copy the rest of my blog post over here. Now, this is how you write on the WordPress native website editor. However, you can click on edit with Elementor on the top. And once you click on edit with Elementor on the top, this is what it's going to look like. So the primary appearance is pretty much the same, but you can change certain elements. So if I remove this section, I can actually make this in the form of a heading and an image and a text editor. So for my blog post, if I want it to be a bit more stylized, I can use Elementor. Now for that, I am going to firstly insert an image. And once I insert an image, I can click on the left panel, click on select files, and then I will use a image that I want to have in my blog post. And then I'll just upload that. And the primary features of both the editors are pretty much the same. So you're really not going to notice a major difference between all of these. I'll just click on select over here. And once I click on select, I can also choose the image resolution. If I want this to be a full image, if I want this to be custom sized, so if I want, I can you know, choose my own resolution. I'll make this a medium image so it's a bit smaller. Now with Elementor, you have things like a layout. So I will create a flex box with a structure like this. And then I'll remove the image from the top because I think it doesn't look really nice. I'll go into the left panel and add an image over here. And then I'll just select my image file. And on the right side, I am going to go into my right container and I will go ahead and add some text. Now on the right, I can copy and paste the first section of my blog post and I will just go back and paste that in. 
now I can include a bit more of a spaced out appearance like so. And after that, if I want to alter the font, I can select the font from the top. I can select the type of heading I want. I can make the text style different. So if I want it to be heading text, if I want to include media files within the text, I can do that by clicking on add media. We also have the option of dropping caps locks and we also can underline text, make it full screen to see what it's going to look like. Now proceeding with our next flex box, I want to maybe, let's say I want simple text over here. So I'll go back into my layout section and I'll just go into our site settings. And I think I want to add some more text directly and I'll add the rest of my blog post. And you can do these types of edits with the basic WordPress editor, but they are going to be a bit difficult. Now in my headings, if I want, I can just click on the headings and make them more bold, like so. So from the middle ages, function and form. Now, if I want, I can select these headings and I can turn it into a heading one, which is a larger font style for my particular blog post. Now, once I have completed this, I can proceed back by clicking on these dots. And if I want, I can integrate YouTube videos. I can also add buttons, dividers, spacers, Google Maps, and other features from Elementor as well. Once completed, I can click on publish on the bottom right and my new post is live. Now, if you want to exit and view this in the site editor, just click on exit on the left. And once you click on exit, you will see the editor for WordPress and the editor for WordPress sometimes may not display your complete blog post as it is displayed. Now, if I click on view post over here, you guys will see the site version of my post and this is the site version of my post. However, you guys can see that my text has not been moved correctly. So I will click on edit post over here. And in my post editor here on WordPress, it is displayed like this. But if I click on edit with Elementor, let's see how it is displayed. So you see that in Elementor, even though I placed it like this, because it is not consistent with the WordPress editor, it has not allowed it to be written in the same way. So that is why I told you guys at the start of this video, the primary way to create blog posts is definitely going to be with uh, WordPress, but there are certain stylizations. Like you guys can see, this is now synced up. When you preview it on your own editor, it's not going to look like this. Instead, it is going to look like a straight text. So keep that in mind when you're working with Elementor and always double check your new posts that you are creating with the Elementor editor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with creating blog posts using Elementor on WordPress. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.